guys welcome back this is gonna be our season two of ranger roundup so this is gonna be episode one and we're gonna be talking about candles a very fun stuff yes today. a very fun way to move from our first episode of bees and mm -hmm. now we're talking about beeswax and yes. candles but yeah so um before we get into showing you how to make a candle um, we're going to tell you a little bit about beeswax in general and mm -hmm. um, tell you kind of the different things that people used to use beeswax for. So there's some pretty interesting stuff, not necessarily stuff that you would think of. Um, so I know, Rachel, you have something oh, about yeah, definitely. Um, like Greek and Roman cultures, like kind of like what did they use beeswax for? So they would use them for jewelry molds and also casting. That's awesome. So that's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah. And also beeswax was used as like a reusable tablet. So oh, wow. Because beeswax is pretty easy to mold with your fingers. If you write a note in it, you can just kind of scribble it away. Mm -hmm. It's really awesome. So candle making started in 3000 BC with it, the Egyptians actually. Mm -hmm. So that's very fascinating. I know. It's a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. um, and then we kind of move up through time using candles, making candles with beeswax um, into even the Middle Ages uh, in Europe and actually the Catholic start, um, Church started using beeswax to make their candles because it smelled a lot better mm -hmm. than um, the tallow and kind of like animal fat mm -hmm. yeah, candles that they were using so those didn't smell too great so they started using beeswax candles. Mm -hmm. But now we're going to move into actually showing you how to make your own oh, yes, candles at home. Um, and then we'll come back here after we're finished. Yeah. The first step to making a candle using the molding process is to check your mold. Check the inside and outside for dents or holes. Check the wick holes as well to make sure they are open just enough for a wick to go through them. Next, you will grab your wick and place it down one of the candle molds to thread it through the bottom wick hole. You may need the aid of a long thin object like a sharpened pencil or a letter opener like we have here to thread the wick. Once through the bottom, pull the wick through to thread into the adjacent candle mold wick hole and pull through until both sides of the wick are back at the top of each mold. Then grab a pencil, stick, or wire and tightly secure the wick to it. Make sure there is no slack in the wick line since it needs to be in the middle of the mold. Once secure, get some of your wax and soften to seal the bottom wick holes and minimize melted wax seeping out when pouring the beeswax. For our next step, we moved outside onto the concrete. If you are staying inside, make sure to put your candle mold on a tray to catch any dripping wax. Also, make sure that you have a fire extinguisher with you and parental supervision. Also, choose your heat source. This can be a fire, camp stove, or kitchen stove, and place your beeswax in a fire-resistant container. Let your beeswax melt, stirring and adjusting heat as needed. Once melted, turn off the heat and remove your container using an oven mitt or towel. Carefully pour the wax into your candle mold and ensure your wicks are centered.
As your candles cool, you may need to add more melted wax as it settles and releases air bubbles. Leave your candles at room temperature to harden. Don't cool them in your fridge as they may crack from hardening too fast. Once solidified, remove the excess wax at the bottom of the molds. Then, cut the wick to separate the two candles. Pull the wicks at the top of the mold to remove. You may find it useful to remove the pencil or whatever you use to secure your wicks. If you have trouble, run your mold under hot water until loose. Once you remove your candles from the mold, cut off any excess wick from the bottom and top and you are ready to use your beeswax candle. Alright, welcome back everybody. We hope you enjoyed watching us make candles um, and hopefully you get to make candles at your house. Um, and if you do, send us in pictures. It's really awesome. Um, but, so we talked about the prehistory, like um, what was used for beeswax and also um, how candles were kind of like used very far back. Um, but now we're going to move forward. Um, so we're going to talk about candles more in a modern sense and then also tell you a little bit more about how beeswax is also used in a modern sense. Um, so I'm going to hand it over to you, Rachel. Yeah. So in a lot of different cultures, they use it as candles as a symbolic kind of celebration of life. They use it as remembrance. You may even use candles on your birthday cake at home. So that's a celebration of kind of life. Um, different things, sometimes weddings have candles involved in them and their so ceremonies, so they use them in a lot of different celebration kind of deals. Yeah, and a lot of holidays will sometimes have candles as well, um, part of that celebration. Uh, as well as candles also have other symbolisms. So um, the Underground Railroad, if you've ever seen candles in people's windows that used to be um, a way of telling people who were on the Underground Railroad, um, enslaved people trying to escape, it was a way of showing this is a safe place, you can come in and we can help you, which is really cool. It is really cool. Yeah. Um, so there are normally two different ways that you can make candles. Um, so you saw them in the mold kind of uh, candle making when we were making it earlier but then there's also a different way so you would take that wick that we were using and then you would dip it in and then take um, the wick out of the the wax and then you would just continuously do that over and over again until you actually get a candle made out of it it's kind of like those funny things that are going around when you take your hands and then you mold your hands yeah and then they're um, there forever so yeah, yeah. You get to keep them it's really fun. Um, but not just candles are used in a celebratory sense. Uh, you also have them used in basically everyday life. Um, think about before we had all these electric lights all around us. Uh, people still needed to see in the dark. So candles were a great source of light just to be able to see in the dark and get around. So you would definitely need to know how to make your candles or know where to buy your candles because if you're trying to see at night, you're going to need one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so pretty, pretty useful as well. So like Madame Tussaud, she has a whole wax figure of celebrities and stuff. <laughs> so she uses wax to form these celebrities and she puts them in a museum and you guys can actually go and look at them. So yeah. that's a very interesting mm -hmm. way to use beeswax. Beeswax, yeah, just wax in general. Mm -hmm. um, and also in more like an everyday sense, uh, there's a lot more beeswax products out that you can buy for your home. Um, specifically like beeswax wraps where you can buy mm -hmm. these like cloth looking wraps now and they have beeswax on them and you can like store food in them. So 
we use beeswax in a lot more ways than we sometimes think about. Because uh, we can think about bees producing honey all the time, but beeswax is definitely a, another yes. really useful, useful tool that bees mm -hmm. produce for us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this talk about beeswax and candle making. Yes. Hopefully you get to make your own candles at home. And until next time, see you later. See you